Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I have some exciting news. As I told you guys, two um, directs were going to come out in November, and right now on November 1st, obviously we had our first direct of the November series, and I told you guys, most likely it's going to be about uh, Smash Brothers, uh, Super Smash, and, you know, the extreme wide vast amount of characters, there's going to be a little bit more, so let me just... First start off by saying what I usually do in my videos, uh, anybody that just walked in, I am, uh, I did a bunch of uh, mini-series, the first one's already complete, how to build a gaming computer slash post-production for film work slash productivity computer on the cheap, anywhere from like $1,500 to $3,000 and you can build it on the cheap, uh, The ne uh, uh, that's already complete, you can look at my channel, you'll see it. Uh, and these are all per year requests and obviously make the requests come and I'll keep doing them uh, The second one that we're approaching right now next week. I'm doing uh, how to build a helmet as you can see you can hear that You know another helmet being made because I, I design helmets So I'm gonna show you guys how to make helmets from beginning to end on a 3d printer uh, If you have a 3d printer you should know that these uh, you know helmets usually range uh, with the finished, I'm going to teach you how to do even weathered paint. They go anywhere from seven, eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. You know, for a helmet, I'm sure some people even charge more. You'll be able to build it for about twenty bucks at most, and that's including paint and everything. So uh, I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It's a Nintendo Switch holder. That's a Mario, uh, Mario holding a Nintendo Switch while it charges. You could play, or even uh, put your cell phone on it and uh, film yourself and whatever. Uh, you know, when you take it on the go, it's pretty cool. Um, that being said, the next uh, series, mini series after that, is going to be how to build a gaming slash post production for film work and stuff slash productivity desk on the cheap. I'm going to show you guys how to do the desk I'm filming on right now and you know I don't want to show it to you guys till the actual mini series. I'm going to show you guys how to build it. It has anywhere from what like $700, $800 to $1,500 and I'm going to show you guys how to build it for a little over $300 or possibly a little over the $400 mark if you guys want to get the drawers like I did and we'll get into all of that. So um, let's go right into the direct. Now Already in the forums, a lot of people are uh, sounding off about it. I, I myself am sounding off a little bit what I'm about to say about it. Now, first off, I knew it was going to be a uh, Smash, uh, you know, Nintendo Direct. I did think Diablo 3 and a bunch of other ones, because they were hinting at it, was going to come. It's possibly going to be the... Um, no, it can't be the next, because it's coming out on November 2nd. So I don't know what's going to happen, but they might go over it. Uh, that being said, I thought that they were going to come out with more Amiibos than I thought possible. But again, till the next Direct, we might not know. You know, uh, there still might be things in uh, work here. So guys on the forums, ease up a little bit. I'm sure there's a lot of things coming our way very soon. Uh, now let's go right into the Smash uh, Direct, which is really what it is, uh, what, it, what it was. So um, a lot of characters that I like are going to be added. Uh, obviously, Ken and Incinerar. Okay, Incinerar, Incinerar I could care. I could give two shits less about him. But Ken, <clears throat> I always wanted Ken. Uh, one of my favorite characters in, in uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, from the beginning, and I just completely dig it. I really love it. And, I, and, and I'm so happy that they're finally going to be releasing Ken. And a Ken Amiibo, as, I, as you know, obviously I'm an Amiibo collector, and you guys could look at my channel for that. I have, uh, you know, unbox my Amiibo. Every time a new or rare Amiibo comes out, I add, I add it to the playlist. So be sure in the end of the video to check that out. But, uh, I'm going to have now a Ken for my Ryu, and that's going to be really, really cool. My Ryu! So I'm going to have Ken now uh, in it. Well, one of my favorite characters in the game, you know, including Guile and stuff. But I always loved Ken. Ken and Ryu were like my faves. And I really like that they didn't just slap him on. He's going to have Super Street Fighter 2 moves. And uh, it's just really cool. And, you know, there's some different, you know... Uh, different moves, uh, you know, compared to Ryu. It's just really cool to always have them. I don't know why they never had him. I think it's it was very stupid to include Ryu and not, you know, him. But now I'm really happy that they finally freaking released him. Now, Incineroar looks like a badass, you know, from Pokemon. Except they made him a wrestler. He has, like, wrestling moves and stuff like that. Um, I am going to say something that I don't particularly like uh, about the uh, Smash as well. Like, and I know they do this in, you know, whatever, but... 
Every time, let's say, Incineroar is going to do a, a big slam or whatever, he does a pose. Now, you could get out of the pose. I think it's stupid. I think what they should have done was actually add a button for posing. You know, make a button, that you press it, and he poses, and he can build up his power or something. I, I don't know. But I just think it's so stupid because it kind of reminds me of, like, the Mortal Kombat days uh, where, you know, uh, Kentaro does that super jump on you and then goes, Rawr! and then you could just, like, uh, it's an opening for an attack. Now, obviously, you can get out of it, but it's like every time you do it, you're going to have to be on the edge. Instead of enjoying that power slam, you're going to be, like, on the edge doing stuff, like, to get yourself out of it. Another thing I don't like about it is, I thought that this, because it was a special, like, it looks like a special edition where they include all the characters. I really thought that all the characters on, you know, it's just going to be available. And uh, you actually have to unlock them. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, a bad thing. I know people on the forums looked at it as a bad thing, but let me explain something to you. When you buy a game, you want it to last as long as freaking possible. And I think it's so cool that they do these unlockables. I remember like when I used to get WWE games or you know the all these games or even Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat uh, but especially WWE games I used to hate that accelerator crap that you buy because I really liked earning these players and it made the game more enjoyable otherwise it's just like a fighting game and you just get so bored with it and you toss it out but that kind of stuff gives you like more replay value to unlock them like Tekken characters as in the past the uh, past Tekken games it was so cool to unlock you know in Tekken 3 every time you beat the game you get a new character it's just it made you want to play the game again and again and again you know which in you know, forces you into replay. So, and it had a great replay value because then you had a new character. Now, this is a vast amount. What, 72 characters in this freaking game. And now they included even more. <laughs> so, you know, two more uh, characters. And get this, it's not over. If you manage to play throughout the whole damn thing of every freaking character and get sick of them, uh, if you'll still want to play the game after a year, because they said this is the stupid part. Um, uh, I don't know why it's taking them this long to develop it, but basically there's going to be character sets that they were talking about five of them. So each one is going to have a character, uh, music to that character, and a, uh, a board to that character, you know, a stage to that character. The thing is it's about five ninety nine each, right? So you think that's a rip on Now they have a, a sort of like a pass, you know, like a season pass type thing. Where if you pay twenty four ninety nine, you get all five of them. So you're kind of saving a little bit of money, and you get five new characters. God only knows what these characters are. There is no uh, even hints or rumors. In fact, they said they didn't even work on it yet, and it's going to come out a year later, which I think we'll all be bored to tears by then. But we might actually like it. You never know, and you know, tons of characters to play through and unlock. So I'm sure something's going to uh, kick in uh, with that thing right there. I just personally thought, um, I don't know, like I thought that that would be it, this is it, and I really don't like when people start entering that DLC where you got to pay. Nintendo really was away from that. I was really hoping they'd be different than other systems. This looks like an opening to a bad, bad thing in marketing. I hope they don't start releasing half-assed games like the uh, computers are, the console market is, where you come out with a half-assed game and then you have to unlock everything through paying, you know, pay-to-play or pay-to-win uh, type of crap. And I really hope Nintendo isn't going this route. Uh, that being said, they had DLC before, but, um, you know, with DLC... Uh, I just, I, I always am a little bit, you know, paranoid that it doesn't go the wrong direction. And, you know, whatever, you get five characters after you're given 72. Like, who the hell would want these five characters, regardless of what they do? I think everybody will be bored to tears by the time these characters come on. I think they should have done it throughout uh, 2019, like every two months you get a new character. Like if you guys remember with Mortal Kombat X, uh, every time a new character came out, it was like you, you got these packages which you had to buy, which sucks. But at the same time, you got like Leatherface and all these people every two, three months, something would come out. And then later on, one, one of them came out a, a year almost later. And that was kind of cool, like with the Ninja Turtles and stuff. <laughs> but, but um you know, wait, Ninja Turtles, I think that was for the other game. I, I think I got my games mixed up. No, yeah, I think I got it mixed up. But uh, Leatherface was in the game in, what, uh, in uh, Mortal Kombat X, or maybe I'm recalling it correct. I don't know. The point is, uh, I don't like that DLC crap, uh, but whatever, they got five. Maybe it'll uh, you know, make the game more interesting in a year and we'll like it. I don't know how the heck that is. Nobody knows how the heck that's going to go down. Now, the real cool part that I, lo uh, I love, and a big disappointment as well. So, first off, the good part. Let's get to that. So, 
The thing that I really enjoyed is that they're giving you a free character if you pre-order right now. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna pre-order it as, as I agreed. It, the, you know, you guys make these requests just like for the mini series, and ba because I'm self-funded here, based on the magnitude of many requests, I will get, uh, you know, I will do that mini series for that uh, specific topic. Same goes with the games. If there's enough requests for it, I'm getting it, and I'm getting. Uh, Definitely uh, Super Smash Brothers, and I'm gonna get uh, the other one, the Mario uh, U, whatever. I don't even know why they include uh, they they call it U, but whatever. I'm gonna get that too, uh, as based your request, and I'll do a full on review like you guys always tell me you guys love and appreciate that I do. Uh, so I'm gonna do a very in depth uh, you know uh, review of, of the game. So definitely I'm gonna get that. So I am gonna get that. It comes with a piranha plant, and they're also gonna have an amiibo for it as well. So a piranha plant. Um, uh, that yeah, that's included in the game, which is pretty cool. Now with the spirit characters and all that, I mean, it's it's so mind-boggling. I don't even, I'm not even interested. I don't even care. But whatever, you know, it, it includes it in there. If it didn't, I wouldn't care either way. But you know, whatever floats everybody's boat. And I'm a big Smash fan. I just don't care about uh, spirits. I th I do think it's cool they added it, but it it doesn't really really do anything for me. I'm good at what I you know in playing this game. Uh, that being said. You could buy a GameCube controller for it and, you know, reminisce about old times. It'll, it'll feel like the olden days, which I'm thinking about it. Um, that being said, the big disappointment here. The big disappointment that I got to say, and a big letdown, I was hoping they would release a demo for this game. Instead, they're making an announcement that they're going to be having hands-on in certain places. You know, I, I just think it would have been so much better to um, include a demo for the game, let people try to play it a little bit with just a couple of characters, maybe one or two characters included, and just have them go about it fighting and seeing how the connections work, how the land parties work, how all of these cool things work, and then you know they can make the decision for themselves. I really was hoping for a demo, and I'm really disappointed that wasn't included. And it's not just me. A lot of people said the same thing. But again, you never know. We're not in December. Maybe mid-November. Maybe the next Direct in November is going to say, hey, guys, you know, a demo's coming out and all of that. Now, the fantastic other news is there's going to be more Amiibos coming out. <laughs> And again, I'm hoping that Diablo 3 has the Diablo, like a big, you know, Pikachu, the one I have. The Let me show you guys. So guys, the big Pikachu right here, which, uh, you know, was more expensive, obviously, than $15 uh, or whatever. It's like 30 bucks or something. But this is a limited edition, and it's really cool, and it's big. Wouldn't it be cool if they had a big, giant... Uh, Diablo figure, like really detailed and awesome. What what an awesome collector's item that would make. I mean, I just really hope they come out with something that's really, really cool uh, for Diablo 3. If not, it's a missed opportunity. I do think that the fact that they don't include Cloud and a bunch of other ones uh, from uh, the... Um, from Star Fox, sorry. Uh, the Star Fox ones uh, is because I have a feeling they are going to eventually come out with a Star Fox game. The thing is, always I get irritated when I see Little Mac punching out people in the video. And then I'm like, when the hell is a new freaking punch out coming out? That's what I want to freaking get. I don't even care if it's a port of the freaking Wii. I would love to play the Wii version on the go for cheap. But I would love to see a new punch out game. Uh, you know, with it, especially now with the gyro controls, you can add that to it. It'll be like playing the old punch out with the power glove. That would be so sick. But uh, we'll see how that works out. Anyways, let me know what you guys, if you enjoyed this. I really did. I thought that it was really cool that they give us an in-depth review of how the game is. Uh, so I really, I, I really enjoyed it. I just think they could have went about it a little different in certain things. But again, we don't know. But it looks like this is what it is in Smash. That's it. And then the five characters will see, the, you know, they're working on it by next year or whatever. Uh, so we'll see how the heck that works out. Anyways, let me know what you guys would want the five characters to be. And also let me know what you guys thought of the direct. Anyways, this is Dr. Leo Barrell. Have a good one, y'all. Uh, as always, self-funded. That's why all the time you're going to see nothing but honest reviews in this channel. Uh, the only way you guys can help me out is by liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button as it will alert you of any new videos to come. As you see, I cover a wide, you know, vast uh, amount of topics. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Nintendo is my main. Obviously, 3D printing is my other one. And then building stuff and cool things and technology review. All of these things happen in my channel. So again, request them based on the magnitude of that request, of that certain topic, that is. I will make... Uh, mini series based on that. Anyways, as always, like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.